Hello everyone! Welcome to another Let's Play of This War of Mine. Uh, when we last left off, we were in we we're in the home stretch. We we're in day sixty of five, I think, and uh, we we're going to day eighty. And we've got enough food to keep us alive until then. So, so barring any you know major events, we are good. Um, we've already stripped the brothel of everything there except wood. So tonight, we're going to send Katia with uh, meds and, and bandages to the garage where uh, they had food to trade. Um, so this is before the war, you could have your car repaired. Here was a decent family business run by an impulsive son and his elderly father. If they still live there, they might be willing to trade. Um, we could also use some more components. Uh, which is something that I'm going to keep an eye out for because I cannot remember if I stripped the place of components before. So, this is the stuff I'm taking with us to trade. We actually have a lot of, uh, a, a, almost a surplus of medicines and bandages right now, which is, which is really awesome, uh, obviously. And, actually I'm going to leave the bandages because I think he just needed meds. He was sick. So we're going to go scavenge at the garage and hopefully everyone there is still alive and safe and everything. Um, gosh, that's a spot where they really could make, I talked in the last video about how it's interesting that some things, well they do have components, some things change and continue to, to, to be different as the game, hello, and it would be interesting, albeit depressing, if you came back to a trade spot and, you know, there was, you know, they've been hurt or scavenged or something. Uh, I'll give you a lot for medical supplies because his dad is sick. So, what do we need? I really want this sugar so I can make moonshine. I really want this vegetable so much. Really just all of his food. Um, the herbs for making more meds to sell him and that, that all, actually all of that would be awesome. Can we get that? Okay, so everything we brought is insufficient. Really? It's very generous of you. Okay, so when did we cross the line and be generous? It won't do try hard. Finally, we can have a deal. <laughs> All right. Um, so we get, we're gonna get three cans of food, which is good. Uh, vegetables and meat, which is amazing. More me med stuff, which we can use to make more meds to trade to him and sugar for moonshine and water for moonshine. So this is actually a really good trading spot. We, Assuming that he gets the same stuff every night, which I don't know if he does, um, this would be a good place for us to come back, to be honest. I, that felt like a good deal for what we need anyway. It's actually kind of nice going into the end game, day 66, with so much stuff because it means I can kind of go to different places and see what they have as opposed to like early on when it was just no time to look no time to, to, to do a, do the tourist thing we need to scavenge as hard and fast as we can that they didn't all have to queue up quite so much for the food like I wish they would grab a plate and move away a little bit and somebody else could grab a plate while they're eating that's that's one thing I would like to see changed but it's a small thing it's just a little gripe all right the rat traps are fine and don't need me to check them and spend some time cooking. Eight meals, that would last us two days. I guess if there was one other thing I would like, it would be a Sims-esque speed up of time just a little bit, like not till the end of the day, but just a little bit of so that everyone will work a little faster, but that's just me getting antsy about how long these Let's Play videos are. <laughs> I know most of them are like an hour and I'm really sorry. 
And this is like the 20th one. Whee! We should have some kind of party. I swear I'll eventually play something other than this game. It's just really fun. I like it a lot. This is... It's too early for me to say this is one of my top 10 favorite games of all time. You know, but I really like it a lot. I'm already wondering whether I want to get like the expansion pack that has the children and go through and try to keep a child alive and happy. I don't know, I have mixed feelings about that. It's, it's not a trigger for me necessarily. I know for some people it would be, but more it's just like, I don't know how, how much I want to do that. <laughs> I have, no, I have no medical parts, but I do have, mm, I need more components. I should have bought more components. I wish, um, I wish Franco would show up. I got 10 components from that pile that we scavenged, but that's not very much, all things considered. Everything takes four or five components, it seems like. And it doesn't help that I'm constantly making filters. I know it doesn't count as a good deed to trade with them because you're still taking up food and stuff in exchange for much needed medicines, but it makes me feel better. Like, we're helping? I'd rather sell him medicines than sell it to, oh, I meant to get the moonshine going, than sell it to, you know, somebody bad. Okay. I guess we could go ahead and get the moonshine started. At last something good happened. And yeah, yeah, why don't you go make some bullets for us? Sada's got the Well, so the question becomes, do we go back? to their house and trade more bandages and medicines or is it time for us to go to the square? Although, like I said, I do enjoy the fact that we actually have some time and bandwidth to train. Trade! <laughs> um, as opposed to being in survival mode. So you're on guard, you're on scavenge, and I think you two can sleep. I really don't think anybody's gonna bug us right now. It seems like people have calmed down a little bit. Okay, so let's take two bandages and a meds, and we'll go with that. We may not get as much as we want. I think there's some wood we can scavenge over this house. Hello! Okay. He's got food and vegetables again, so he's a reliable supplier of that. And sugar. And filters. Alcohol. Man, I could have brought alcohol. Ten water. Oof. Okay, so hold on. If we put the water back and we put the sugar back. And we 
put the components back. Okay, components come back. There they go. Deal. And then now we put the two bandages on the line. And I want the sugar, the water, the more water, and the components. Too, too damn impressive. Oh, okay, there we go. Deal. Can't carry that much fudge. Really, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, that's frustrating. So we're literally giving generous trades because our hands are full. I should have taken the stuff to the exit and put it there. Oh, I'm so stupid. Well, okay, we learned. Day 67. We've been raided. Roman used eight bullets. Bullets, Roman. I'm gonna need you to fill out a form in triplicate explaining why you needed so many bullets. This will improve productivity, of course. Alright. Ooh, got two traps that need checking. Roman, why don't you go eat? And then Amelia can go eat and then can work. Alright, it's easier to fall ill when it's so cold. Why are you cold? They're both saying they're getting cold. Since when did you get cold? Alright, Roman, go put stuff in the fireplace. Goodness knows we've got the candle. Okay. We got four meat, but we have to use two to retrap it. Uh, Amelia can go down here and get the moonshine. Traitors here, traitors here, traitors here. That's not the traitor. Yes, he is. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm going to call them Trader Joe. All right, you get to go to bed, Helen. Amelia, I want you on water. Zada, you need to be on water. I need to be going soon. Oh, it isn't the trailer. I didn't think it looked like. We're moving. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much for protecting us. My sister and her husband came to visit us. They live in another part of town and invited us to stay with them. I think we'll be safer there, so we're leaving. Before we go, I wanted to thank you and give you my husband's shotgun along with the rest of our ammunition. We won't need it anymore, I hope. Oh. I hope you don't need to use it, but you never know. Oh. You did not have to do that. We've got guns. Oh, you sweet soul. They did not have to do that. We didn't do anything special. We just sent Roman to stay with them overnight. And shoot off bad guys. We would have done that for anybody. They're sweet. Okay. Now we get to repair a shotgun. I didn't think that was the traitor. He just looks different than they did. Please. So 
sleepies. And we can make fertilizer from one of our meats. And we can make things from the herbs we just got. We can make three bandages. Or we can make five herbal beds. They don't cost components. So they're a little bit cheaper to make, but they're still worth a lot to the boy and his dad. So I'm going to do that. I'd rather put the components into making filters, since we can't carry back much anyway. Where do we want to go for components? St. Mary's had some stacks of components. The ruined block of flats had... No, those are cogs. I mean, I don't know what I would do without my notes. You, you... Well, maybe you. I just can't remember what building had what. I think another thing that could be fun with the Make Your Own Stories is starting with maybe one or two people and seeing who shows up like it would just be a random <laughs> who who comes to help who, who joins your group that could be really bad though because i mean what if you get stuck with sveta again she was she was frustrating no offense sveta she didn't do anything useful except liking children which wasn't really useful and she scolded us every time we had to steal. It might be fun to do like a totally immoral run where, where you take the easy way out and do a lot of stealing and killing. I don't know if the game punishes you for that. Like if it gives you a bad ending. That would make me sad because like if I want to play an, an immoral jerk. I want him to be a proper immoral jerk and not like one that gets a sad ending. <laughs> Let him enjoy himself. Or her. Whatever. I didn't like it whenever the game kept telling me I was sad about stuff. Like, you let me decide that game. <laughs> All right, off we go to end of day. We're going to take Hattie to scavenge again. Roman can guard. Emilia can sleep in bed. And Zlata can sleep in bed. And we're going to take our herbal meds that we just made. Where are they? Where? They're there. I can't see. Um, we're going to take two stacks of those. They're not worth as much to him because they're not the regular medicines, the good medicines. So he might not give us as much as he has been. Hello. I do have meds. All right. You've got herbs, which I can use to make more meds. And you've got sugar, which I can use to make more meds. And I really want those vegetables and that food. scavenging. There's a saw grate, but I think that gets you into their house, which I'm not gonna do. That's not cool. They'll need me in their house. So that's been fun. But I don't know that we can actually keep doing that because 
we're actually losing resources long term with those trades. I only got one herb, which I need four to replace each of the meds that I sold. constricted by your inventory. Like when Franco comes, we can just buy up everything he owns, no problem. But whenever it's something that we have to lug home, there's that extra layer of inventory management, which is harder than you would think. Harder than I would think. Speaking of Franco, he hasn't visited us in a few days, has he? I'm not sure. Alright, Sada, you get to go down here and make water. Amelia gets to eat. Vegetables should come due soon, but not for a while. I guess you can all have an extra meal. I assume that keeps them fat an extra day. We are expecting the temperatures to gradually increase in the upcoming days, a welcome change indeed. Most animals have disappeared from the streets. Keep that in mind when buying meat from dubious sources. Aww. The rebel spokesman informed us that some districts might become inaccessible to civilians because the government forces are planning to storm the city. They hope to end the fighting before international intervention. Ooh, I wonder if that's going to affect scavenging tonight. Amelia, you may sit. Roman, you may sit in your chair. Kati, you can sit in the armchair. You know, everybody is well fed for the first time in forever. Ooh, that's a frozen song. For the first time in forever. We can eat food and not die. Doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Cigarette, might as well make. Huh, if we use all our components, we can make 
32 more cigarettes. We're not going to. Ooh, do you want to go trade cigarettes to the military? I don't know that want is the right word for that. What did they have? It was like weapons, wasn't it? And I really do most of all need components. But weapons, hmm. I can sell weapons to Franco. And I think the soldiers liked alcohol too, and I definitely have that. Although I could use some more sugar. Hmm. Must ponder this some more. Zoom forward. And just see what they want. We won't get shot. I've lost track whose side they're on. Watch it, this is a restricted area. Better have some good stuff to trade. I do have things to trade. You have, you don't have very much. You gotta show me a lot in exchange. Like you don't even have sugar. Water, a big whoop, and bullets. And you're not impressed by my cigarettes. Great. My offer is too damn impressive. You want to give me some canned food? Civic duty. <laughs> Do you mind if I go through this for materials? Or is this gonna be a thing? Sharks. And I know I can't go up there and I can't linger in here and they yell at me. you killed. That's a line from a movie that I like. Okay. That was disappointing. They had nothing worth trading for, really. But we got some components, and we can make some cigarettes to make up for the ones we lost. And we used some bullets to fight off a raid. Oh, the well-fedness didn't last. Did it? No, it's like they're fed. Okay, so that's okay. So Zada, you can go to bed, or Patty, you can go to bed. Roman, you can go to bed. Amelia, you eat. Zada, you get to eat as well. So they basically have four stages of hunger that I know of. Well-fed, which is kind of extra. 
neutral, which is what they were when I came in. Hungry, and then very hungry. I think there's also a slightly hungry if you only feed them a, a raw cooked, a raw uncooked food. Okay. I have 13 filters, and I would, I would like more because I'm using them. I'm going to use them. Uh, time to harvest the vegetables. guys who wanted us to turn our neighbor in. Franco! So we did the right thing. And I feel good about that. It's good to eat well once in a while. I, I imagine it is. I really wish we could invite Franco in for a meal. Okay. Bullets. Consumables. Water. What will we give him? We don't have a lot to sell. That's the. Well, we do. So, our viewers is just too damn impressive. Well, let's see if we can make it less so. It's very generous of you. That's weird. It went from it won't do try harder to 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 that. Fine, we can have deals. Okay, there we go. Alright, that's a start. I want you working on cigarettes to sell Franco. Actually, no, we could be selling on bandages. Hold on. I need all your materials, Franco. I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't want to sell in the alcohol. Oh my god, look at all the cogs I have. Got some cogs? I started this playthrough thinking I would never sell raw materials because I did that in my first game and that was really foolish of me. I ran out of some important raw materials. But I had not expected to accrue so many cogs right before the ending. I hadn't realized I had so many. That's awesome. Look at us be awesome. Okay, so... How many cogs... do with all these cogs, Franco? You're gonna carry them home and then do what? Have a cog sale? I'm just curious. Okay. We can come down to 15 cogs, but he's not happy. I won't true try harder. Stuff for viewers is just too damn impressive. Deep. Okay, so hold on. Don't. Just a second. we could have. 
And then we could take them to the the guy that has a sick dad. Look at that. Clean him out. He's got basically nothing left. Wait. Roll up sacred. I want my wood back. What was I doing? Not thinking. It's a lot of inventory to manage, in my defense. Okay. Done. You can go. Sorry to bother you. I'll try to visit you again. Day 69. Nice. Uh, I mean, what are you doing? First of all, do we have... I don't think we have sugar from Moonshine, but if we did, no. Okay. Uh, so... Rats are good. Nothing new we want to make there. Making filters. Water, moonshine, vegetables, water. And we don't have moonshine to purify. But we can make bandages. So we're going to do that now. And then once we finish making bandages, we're going to make more cigarettes because I hate to leave Roman high and dry. But it, it was just too good of an offer to pass up. These are coming along. Okay, so we just have to hold on for 10 more days, 11 more days. We're just doing so good. We could probably just do a end day zoom from here on out, but I want to see some more things. Second Amelia, I'm gonna have you put in some more filters. We've got. Hmm. We have zero cigarettes. Okay. We have to make some. Otherwise, Rome would be sad. Did I sell all my cigarettes? I guess I did. I didn't think I did. How did I do that? Oh well. That sounds like something I would do. But we're gonna have you covered, Roman. You're gonna have 64 when this is done. 64 cigarettes. Imagine. Okay. We have 42 water. Let's look at our inventory. We've got. All right, we've got weapons for everybody. We've got a lot of filters and firewood. We've got books. 42 water, which is great. Weapon parts, also great. We have, we have enough food to just throw a food party. We don't have any coffee. No, we have 14 coffees, so everybody's happy. This is probably the happiest we could all get and more. We could stay in here and not scavenge for a couple of nights. We could just sleep and, and you know, not get raided. That's important. So speaking of not getting raided, oh, somebody can go up and get herbs. Just a second. So now I want you to make bandages. And Roman's meanwhile smoking your your hard work. That's fine, Roman. Okay. We're gonna make a fertilizer from a meat. Meat's a little bit less rare than vegetables. And then we're gonna make five herbs, which will take two days. <laughs> Look at Katia doing up her shoes. Sada, now you can go back to making cigarettes. I'm sorry to have bothered you.
Okay, we can fast forward. God, we are just doing amazing. Okay, let's take... So here we have, we have 10 days left. And I kind of am torn between trading versus visiting the places that we haven't visited. Okay, we can't get to Quiet House due to fighting, which is honestly good. I didn't, I didn't want to get to Quiet House due to fighting. That's where the, the elderly people live and we'd just be stealing. Um, small apartment building, we would go there to fight, but we can't get there to, due to fighting. Semi-detached semi house is for trading and the ruined villa is for fighting. So let's go to the semi-detached house to trade. Um, really, as long as we don't do anything stupid, knock on wood, <laughs> um, we should make it just fine to the ending, which is great. It's amazing. Uh, I'm really excited. So, wait, wait, let's go back. What did... What did they want to buy there? Uh, hold on just a second. Please wait. Please wait. I need to look it up. I don't want to get there and have it be like... Bandages? We don't need no bandages. Semi... Detached house. Where did it go? Uh, they want... They have no preferences. None whatsoever? Huh. So I guess they will take bandages. We've got lots of bandages. Nobody ever says no to bandages, right? Okay. Let's take some extra bandages. Seems like every time we go, people are like, What? You only brought me four bandages? Okay. I just want to see this. We haven't been here before. The destruction is unimaginable. It's a miracle the other part still stands. So there's actually stuff to... Hannah, Tomas and me moved in with Uncle Radu. We buried Mom in the yard. Take care. Jeez. Okay, so there's components to be got here. There's actual scavenging to do here, that's cool. Hello, mouse. Would you like to come to my house? We have, we have traps. We're not gonna falsely advertise, I'm not gonna lie to a mouse. Bandages. What do you have? You have, hello, you have herbs, which is nice. You have coffee, which isn't bad. You have water. You have filters. You have food. It's very generous of me, huh? I don't like being generous. Well, it is what it is. Pleasure doing business with you. With you too, thank you. Gosh, you're nice. What was her name, Vanya? Thank you, Vanya. Vanya is a pretty name. Well, I guess we'll just get some components and leave. I always need components. Jeez, that scared me. Wood is the last thing I need. I've got like 110 wood at home. Tobacco's nice. Cogs I clearly don't need. Alright, we're under the exit. Well, that was a, a beneficial night. Now what do we do? 
Day 70. The night was calm. That's good. Uh, go to bed. I think. Zada can go downstairs. Roman can go to bed. Amelia can go to bed. Alright, we don't need anyone to check on the rat traps. I don't think we have any bullets to make. We haven't picked up any shell casings. We could make filters. I don't think it's the most important thing right now, but we've got the materials for them. Yeah, we've got 15 filters already. We can get filters started. We're gonna make it. I don't have enough sugar to make moonshine, and I don't have any moonshine to make alcohol. Those things are depressing. I feel like we've underused the moonshine still, and that's frustrating because I try to scavenge sugar everywhere I can find it, and buy sugar everywhere I can find it, and it's just... I wanted this to be always going, and it's just not been feasible. There has not been enough sugar which is possibly my fault for not going to the right traders, but I sort of wanted sugar to be just lying everywhere for free, and that didn't happen. And that's okay, I mean, it doesn't make the, the game bad. I'm not frustrated. I'm just noting that I don't think I used the Moonstein still correctly. I also, potentially maybe should have been farming herbs at a much high like 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 two or three herb tables instead of one so that we'd be getting five herbs every day instead of every two days um just because herbs are how you make quality roll-ups and all the meds and stuff and i'm constantly running low on herbs and I feel like the quality roll-ups are things that you're supposed to sell the soldiers. So it's, it's actually really interesting to me that I feel like I played this game right. I mean, obviously we've got enough food to make it to the ending. We're, we're not starving, we're not wounded, we're not sick. We've, we've got a surplus of supplies. So on easy mode, which again, I want to stress, we, we were playing on easy mode. Um, on easy mode, I feel like I played this game right. But I think it's really cool that you probably could have played it any number of other ways and also have been right. I obviously focus really heavily on food creation, which is why I got, you know, two rat traps early on and a vegetable table as soon as I could. Um, and only after I had food creation down did I start making um, herbs and alcohol and... Uh, medical supplies to sell but I think you potentially could have gone another the other route and had you know a little medical supply <laughs> supply store going where you could have bartered those for food and, and been fine I didn't like relying on barter because In some ways, it kind of meant relying on luck. So, you know, hoping that Franco would would always bring exactly what I needed, and sometimes he didn't, which is not, you know, his fault. But that was a, a risk that it, it seemed like we were always taking. So stop that for just a second. Let's go ahead and make my bandages. Uh, Katia, I think you're doing fine. Amelia. Let's go get that. I really, really strongly dislike that the game limits you to two rat traps. I understand why they felt like that would be unbalanced, I don't like it. I really wish maybe you'd be allowed multiple rat traps, but maybe there'd be like some a diminishing returns point where 
each each additional rat trap took a little bit longer to to get food because maybe there's not as many rats because you keep trapping them and eating them you know like that would have been fine if if i understood that okay the first rat trap takes one day to get rat per per food the second rat trap takes two days the third rat trap takes three days the fourth rat trap takes four days i think at that point you would definitely be in a diminishing return situation but at the same time if you had the cogs and wanted to use them you'd have that option i would have i would have preferred that to be honest um, just because it felt really artificial that you couldn't, you simply couldn't make more. <laughs> like, you can always make more. Um. Wow, oh, this video is getting long too. And, and that's something I, I actually, I feel really bad about that these videos are so long. Um. And yet, the reason we have so much of a surplus is because I'm making them do things constantly and micromanaging all the time. <laughs> so it's a... Uh, the rebel, rebel and government forces are engaged in violent skirmishes throughout the air city. Some areas have been completely cut off while others with this heavy fight. And we, we've noticed that last night we couldn't go to all the places we wanted to go. Um, What is it? Oh, All right. So I guess the question becomes how to play for the last few days because we can kind of within reason do whatever we want. Um, one thing that might be fun, quote unquote fun, is sending Roman to go rob some, some thugs that were mentioned um, on one of the the screens or we can play it safe and and stay in character and have uh, Zlata continue to get uh, components from the semi-detached house which honestly I, I think is more in character for for us uh, if we want to uh, you know the, the, the ending that I don't know how killing people affects the ending I assume it does um, might be dangerous and suspicious of strangers, but they probably have lots of supplies stocked, like military rations of canned food. I do want to see it. Is it bad that I want to see it? Uh, let me go ahead and cut the end of this video, and then we'll we'll just go look. We won't necessarily kill anyone. We'll just go look. <laughs> My name is Anna Myrtle, and this has been The Swore of Mine. Thank you so much for playing along with me. And we were so close to the ending, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>